Hi, my name is Dwayne A. Samuels and you're watching Actors View on Uchi Magazine. So, I've got 12 questions here to answer from Uchi Magazine. I'm going to do my best and hopefully you find me interesting. Question number one. You'd studied drama at John Ruskin College. Which techniques did you learn? We concentrated mainly on the Stanislavski system. Um, however, we did branch out to Chekhov, the Ban, and Brook. Those are the contemporary trainers we looked at. Um, next question. You held a brief tour in policing. Could you share why you briefly changed careers? Um, so I'd been policing from the age of 21 until 28. Uh, 29 um, and then my uncle died um, he was about 45 46 at the time um, this led me to reevaluate my life and what I really wanted from the world my goals were my aspirations um, and acting kept popping up all the time um, I remember being a kid and my mum asking me what what you want to be when you're older um, in fact that's my dad actually um, said what do you want to be when you're older and I said I want to be an actor my dad was like, no, acting will never pay the bills. Best you find a job that you want to do, I'm going to stick you in the army. So I joined the police. Um, next question. Every experience plays a vital role in an actor's career. What experience do you draw from most in preparation for a role and why? Um, for me, I've been lucky enough to have a, a ranging experiences in my life thus far. Uh, and that's ultimately because of policing. Um, I've met some very interesting people some good some bad some quirky individuals as well some people that you probably wouldn't go to deal with in an ordinary life but i've had to because of the nature of the job um as a result i've been able to draw from those interactions draw from those characters um and use those interactions to portray a character which allows me to give an element of truth, connect to my characters, because without that, I can't connect. Um, well, as an actor, I can't. And if, if I can't connect, then the audience won't believe me. And it's by attributing these experiences, these, this truth, to a, a character, then I'm able to give a better performance, and hopefully the audience will enjoy my performance. Uh, next question. What has been the most inspirational role of your career and why? Um, so I've been out of acting for a long while from, yeah, from a long while I've been out of acting, uh, and I went back to it obviously at the age of 28. Um, and I did a Shakespeare play called Titus Andronicus. It was probably about the fourth or fifth play I'd done since being back. Um, and I'd had various friends see, see my work. Um, and for those that don't know, Titus Andronicus is a Shakespeare one of his early pieces. Um, I did it with a theatre company called Action to the Word. If you ever see them advertise anywhere, I suggest you go see their work because they are amazing. But anyway, um, yeah, so I did a, I, I was airing the moor um, and afterwards I got two pieces of feedback which has always stuck with me to this day. One was from a friend um, and he said to me, the previous work I'd done, he just seen me as my mate Dwayne on stage acting. Uh, at this time, he believed that I was Aaron the Moor. He didn't see it as Dwayne, his mate. Um, my acting coach also came along to that one. Uh, he said to me, previously it had been Dwayne, the policeman, who wants to be an actor. Now he saw me as Dwayne, the actor, who's also a policeman. And those all always stuck with me. And for that, that reason, um, that play will always be very inspirational to me. Um, next question. What has been your greatest fear in your career and why? Um, I think like most actors, my biggest fear is forgetting my lines on stage. That's my greatest fear. Um, but for me, uh, my other fear is failure. Failure as an actor to realise my to realise my potential or to meet my potential. And I don't mean by becoming this big Hollywood celeb um, because for me that's not acting. That's just a byproduct of acting. Um, for me, my greatest fear would be not realising my potential, not being recognised by my peers, by my colleagues as being a good actor. That would be my, that's my greatest fear. Um, we know how some roles can be emotionally demanding. What do you do to unwind after a role? Acting, don't know why, or I do know why, it's the adrenaline, 
makes me very, very hungry. So after a roll, I've got to eat. I've got to eat something. Um, but I tend to unwind by just having a glass of wine or a rum and coke or a mojito, if I can get one from, from a local bar, um, sticking my headphones on and just listening to some music and just completely zoning out and forgetting about the world um, and trying to centre myself. Um, can you share any new acting projects you're working on? Um, I just finished shooting a film called White Powder. Um, I'll say finish, I finished that about, probably about six months ago. Um, that's going to be doing a festival run in the US, so watch out for that. Uh, mainly on the East Coast, I understand. Um, another film that I shot uh, called Solitary, that's available on iTunes for download, so you can have a look at that. Uh, I'm also doing a feature film late spring, and um, those are the sort of my projects at the moment. Um, do you have a funny blooper to share? So, yeah, I do. Um, back in college, um, I was doing a play. Um, industry professionals were in the building. Some mate friends were in the building as well. Um, I've walked on stage, and all I can hear is wolf whistles and shouting and screaming from the back. And I'm like, I recognise those voices. Those are my friends. Why are they doing this? And I'm trying to desperately blank them out. And it then occurs to me 10 seconds later, it's quite chilly in here. Um, then it occurs to me that the trousers that I was wearing were two sizes too big. And we had to tie them up with um, a little bit of rope. However, said rope had, was not tight enough and managed to work its way loose. And was now round by my ankles. So <laughs> that was my blooper. Um, what has been your motivation? My motivation is me, for, for mostly. Um, if, I'm not, if I can't motivate myself enough to do what I love to do, then it's time to pack up. But what really, really motivates me is people telling me I won't succeed as an actor. I won't achieve what I want to achieve. Um, I thrive off that, um, and that drives me on. I love to prove people wrong. Um, next question. What advice would you give to an aspiring actor on creating a showreel? Um, a showreel can be a subjective thing. Um, I might say one thing and somebody else will go, no, don't listen to him. He has no idea what you're talking about. You carry on doing what you're doing. But the one piece of advice that sticks in my head and I hear time and time again is do not put a montage at the beginning of a showreel. If a cast and director, director, producer, anyone sees that, nine times out of ten, they tend to switch off. Um, it doesn't matter how good an actor you are, if you've got your favourite piece of music with all your stunts and all the bits at the beginning of your showreel, um, they, they tend to switch off. Um, they don't really ever get to the end of a showreel. Um, a cast and director will know within sort of the first 30 seconds if they want to cast you in something, if they want to audition you. Um, so sticking a montage of all your best bits um, with some jazzy music, it's not, it's not going to sell it for them. Um, what's next in my career? So I've written a number of sort of short films um, that I'm trying to get filmed at the moment. Um, I'm trying to do my own work um, in the middle of between um, paid acting gigs, um, just sort of develop and learn about the industry even more. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm also trying to develop my acting skills as well. So I'm going back to training, uh, going back to drama school to do, do some further training. That's what I'm kind of doing at the moment.